The big game is coming up and you were just informed that everyone's coming to your house to watch. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we'd love to. Okay, but great. Now I know what you might be thinking. I'm just gonna run to the store and just grab some party trays. Sure, you could do that, but it's expensive. But when it comes to convenience, yes, grab those. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of our family's favorite game day recipes that are perfect for any last minute get together. Aprons on, let's go. First up is my Mississippi roast sliders. The men are going to love this. For this recipe, I am using a chuck roast. And then you're gonna need at least six pepperoncini peppers and a half cup of butter, just cubed up. You'll need one packet of au jus gravy mix, ranch dressing mix. Now it calls for one packet, a one ounce packet. And a one ounce packet is pretty close to three tablespoons of this. And some black pepper to just season it up. So I just combined my seasonings together. So I'm gonna get this down over the roast. Next I'm gonna add the butter in and the peppers. I'm gonna cook this on low for about eight hours. So I'm gonna take it out and shred it and get all the fat off of it as I can. So I grabbed a big pan. It's about a nine by 13. It might be a, a titch bigger. Now we're going to cover the bottom sliders with an inch of this beautiful pot roast. Now we're gonna put some slices of provolone cheese on top. Okay, next we're gonna put the top back on the bun. And that's not all. Now I'm going to make a yummy sauce to put on top of the buns. You're gonna melt a half a cup of butter. You're gonna add two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and one half teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, I'm gonna give that a little mix. Brush this on liberally. Cover this with foil and bake at a 375 degree oven for 10 minutes. Then after that 10 minutes, you're gonna take the foil off and bake it for 10 more. Oh, would you look at that. This is a huge hit. Serve this up, watch the game. Seriously, you got the guys coming over? Oh my word, make this. Who doesn't love a good dip? And this first one is our family's favorite. It's our chili cheese dip. You'll need eight ounces of cream cheese softened, one can of chili. Pick your favorite chili. It could be with beans or no beans. Today we're gonna make this with no beans. Then you'll need some shredded cheese. This could be any cheese that you like, but we like the taco blend because it has a mixture of Monterey Jack and cheddar. We like to cook this in a pie dish, but you could put this in a small casserole pan. So take your salt and cream cheese and spread evenly over your pan. Then add your chili right on top and spread that over. Now take a generous amount of that cheese, just layer it on there. Bake it 350 degrees for 15 minutes until hot and bubbly. When it comes out of the oven, hurry and serve it. It is so good piping hot. Just dig right in with your favorite tortilla chips. If you're serving up hot dogs for the Super Bowl, this would make a great topping. Another addicting dip I have for you is a recipe given to me by my sister-in-law. It's our Super Bowl sausage dip. Brown up one pound of hot ground sausage. Then add eight ounces of cream cheese. You'll need one can of Rotel tomatoes. You can use mild or hot, but since we're already using the hot sausage, I'm using mild. You'll need one can of corn that's drained. You're just gonna heat this through until it's hot and bubbly. Serve it up nice and hot with your favorite chips, but it's also really good over a piece of crunchy baguette bread. This is addicting. This next recipe you can throw in the slow cooker in the morning and then bring it later for the big game. Slow cooker meatball pineapple smokies. So you're gonna need a 32 ounce bag of meatballs, some beef little smokies, so I just grabbed a 12 ounce, sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce, apricot preserves, and some pineapple. A cup and a half of the barbecue sauce. This is 13 ounces. I drained the package of the smokies. Now I'm gonna add that in there. This is a 48 ounce bag of meatballs. Now we're gonna mix this all together. I'm gonna coat this really well and then we're gonna cook for two to three hours on high. And then after that, I'm gonna stir in the pineapple chunks and then it'll heat for like another 20 minutes. I gave them a stir, they're done, and I drained a 20 ounce can of pineapple. This is ready to go, I'm just gonna keep it on warm. Company has showed up and we're just gonna start nibble nibbling away. Oh yeah, gone. 
Who doesn't love a good meatball sandwich? But to make it easy for game day, we're gonna make some meatball sliders. First, go pick out your favorite slider buns. Then I went and grabbed frozen meatballs, and I did thaw out these meatballs first. Shred up some mozzarella cheese. You could do about up to two cups, and your favorite sauce. First, you're gonna layer the bottom part of the bun into your pan, and then add your sauce on top of those. Then start layering in your meatballs. I noticed that my frozen meatballs were smaller than most, so I was able to fit two meatballs onto a bun. Then just top it with the sauce again, and then add your mozzarella cheese. And seriously, do not go skimpy on it. Load it up. Then top it with the top part of the slider bun. Then grab some olive oil and lightly brush it on top of the buns. So I grabbed some Italian breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese and I just added some of that together in a bowl and sprinkled that on top of the sliders. I had my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I did cover the casserole pan with aluminum foil and I let it bake for 10 minutes. Then after the 10 minutes, I took the foil off and baked it for another 10. These are amazing and they're gonna go fast. Enjoy. If you have kids and teens over watching the game with you, this next recipe will for sure be a hit with them, but us grown-ups can't resist. Let's make our own version of bagel bites. So to make these bagel pizzas, you're gonna need some mini bagels, slice them in half, lay them out on a baking sheet. You'll need some mozzarella cheese, your favorite pizza sauce, and any toppings you would like. I'm keeping it simple and using just pepperoni. You can use big pepperoni that you can end up cutting to lay on the mini bagels, or if you can find them, the mini pepperoni. First layer is the sauce, the cheese, and then your condiments. I sprinkled the top of mine with some basil. Pop these in a 375 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. These two will go fast, so make sure you snag one. Here's another kid's favorite, but I noticed my man sneaks a few of these all the time. These are my mini corn dog muffins. For this recipe, I'm using the Jiffy corn muffin mix. You're gonna need some hot dogs. We're gonna add our egg, our milk. And I have seen recipes where they've added a couple of tablespoons of melted butter. And optional is a half cup of cheese. Slice your hot dog into six equal pieces. I'm lining my muffin tin. Make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Spoon in a heaping teaspoon of the muffin batter into each of the muffin tins. Then place a hot dog piece right in the center. Bake these up for 11 to 13 minutes or until golden brown. This will for sure be a hit with the kids, but honestly, us grown-ups can't resist these as well. I have one idea for you that I think you're really gonna like. Our oldest son graduated from high school in the spring, and for his graduation party, we had a hot dog bar. This is great for any crowd. It pleases the kids and the grown-ups. Have everyone potluck and bring something. Let me show you how easy this is. They could create their own hot dog that feels gourmet. After you grill your hot dogs, one great way of keeping them nice and warm is by placing them in a slow cooker. Just set your slow cooker on low and you're good to go. So lay out all your classic condiments for a hot dog, but then also think outside the box. Let each person assemble their hot dogs as they would like, or you can give them a little guidance by creating a little menu. I went online and found a ton of hot dog combinations. My favorite is the Hawaiian dog. So you'll have some chopped pineapple. You can use fresh or canned red onions, cilantro, and drizzle it with your favorite barbecue sauce. Another great one is a barbecue sundae dog. And if someone brought coleslaw and baked beans, you're in for a treat. But it was so fun to see the different combinations everyone else made that I didn't even have on the menu. What happened was people started to take their hot dog, cut it in half, that way they could try a couple of different styles. Whew, you pulled it off, the kids are happy, the men are happy, your taste buds are happy, way to go. Do you have a party coming up in the next little while and you need some inspiration on recipes, planning, how to save on your food so you don't break your budget? Click on this playlist here while I'll walk you through everything. I'll meet you over there. Thanks for joining me, bye.